Hey everybody, hope your week's going good. Just wanted to throw out another video again, you know, trying to keep things relevant with the times we're in. Um, I know I've had a video on this, a small short video on this subject before, but I sort of wanted to come back to it just because of how insane the country is becoming, um, depending on where you live. Um, we all talked about, uh, we all talk about, you know, carrying, being armed all the time. And, you know, that most people are referring to hunt handguns, you know, with that, which is great. Um, you know, at a minimum, you know, you need to have a, a handgun um, or, you know, a pistol or a revolver uh, in your possession, I would say. Uh, man, anytime you go anywhere, um, you know, it's just one of the things that we're going to have to learn to deal with, it, it appears. Um, but it'd be great if the world wasn't psychotic and, you know, we didn't have to do that sort of thing. But I think the writing's on the wall and, uh, you know, if it's not on the wall, it should be in your face by now. Again, depending on where you live, um, that it's pretty damn dicey out there and, you know, it benefits you and your family and your friends and your loved ones for you to be armed. You know, it's just the name of the game now. And for those of you that don't have anything, I mean, it sucks. But we've been talking about this stuff for years, and it's not comfortable for a lot of people. I get it. Um, you know, it's about self-preservation, you know, and risk management at this point. So what I wanted to really talk about with regards to firearms was the, the fact of being more, you know, open to carrying long guns, rifles, and shotguns, you know, either or or both in your vehicle at all times um personally i don't put my you know on a daily basis when i'm uh, riding around or going from here to there you know i, I don't typically put my obvious obviously my most expensive or best uh, firearms in that in the vehicle but i do have a i my weapon of choice to keep in the vehicle uh, from a long gun perspective is my 12 gauge pump shotgun I also carry my body armor in there, um, so if anything happens, you know I can I can defend myself with a with a heavy heavy firearm versus just a pistol. Um, you know these people are getting jacked on the street and, and and bottled up in traffic jams, ambush, you know, roadblocks, all this crazy stuff, and somebody some people don't have anything, you know. I'm certainly not uh, advocating running people over, but um, or you know shooting people. But you know, if your life is threatened, you know, and you're in a vehicle, you don't have a whole lot of choices there. It's uh, it's fight or flight, pretty much. So uh, you know, got to use your best judgment there. But I seriously would Im implore everybody to consider, you know, safely and stealthily carrying a long gun in your vehicle. Um, you know, don't leave it in plain view, um, you know, hide it well, be sure that you're in the habit of locking your vehicle and all that stuff. You know, if you're sloppy about locking your vehicle, you know, only you know that, you know, if that's how you are, you might want to reconsider that, um, uh, or get better at locking your vehicle should you decide to carry a long gun in your, in your vehicle. Of course, along with carrying a long gun and, and or a handgun, obviously you need, uh, you know, additional ammunition. So you can get you a small little ammo can, you know, and put some extra rounds in there and, and put it under a back seat or in the trunk or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, obviously the more the better, but, uh, you know, we realize that uh, you have limited space uh, sometimes in a vehicle. So, um, you know, be mindful of the weather and, you know, moisture and all that stuff too, uh, humidity, you know, temperature changes things like that and make sure you're keeping that firearm lubricated um, free of lint and dust and, and dirt and debris as much as possible you know my particular setup um, is is really functional for me I have a, a, a back seat in my truck and the, the back of the seat folds down uh, from the back wall and where the where the rear, rear glass is and um, it's, it's specifically, uh, I specifically set it up to where I could uh, basically hang a shotgun in a scabbard back there 
and uh, man you can't sell anything it's perfectly hidden um, out of sight easy for me to drop that back seat down and just slide that shotgun right out of the scabbard and uh, you know have it available to me should I need to defend myself or my family or whoever's with me at the time but uh, you know again some people prefer rifles in their in their you know vehicles you know a little AR pistol or you know an M4 platform or a little short barrel AK system whatever the case may be there's a lot you know different strokes for different folks I'm just uh, abdicating to you that you might want to have something heavier than just a handgun in your possession while you're in your vehicle or especially while you're traveling um, of course I'm not telling anybody to break the law I know the law where you're at where you're going you know be be uh, be up to speed on all that stuff because you don't want to get jammed up uh, in another state or, or going across state lines and violating a law you're not you know familiar with ignorance is really no excuse for that kind of stuff today you got to know what's going on where you're going things like that so anyway um, I just want to throw that out there and just reemphasize the the need for you know if you live in an urban area um, I would definitely uh, change my habits if you do not carry a long gun of some sort in your vehicle I would change my habits to go to that as well as your everyday carry handgun so uh, Pay, pay attention people know what's going on um, you know 360 degrees keep your head on a swivel um, don't get complacent don't think it won't happen to you um, there's more law enforcement shootings today I mean it's just becoming a war and uh, eventually we're probably going to end up having to clean this up and uh, you know resurrect the Republic so keep prepping stack it deep long live the Republic